Most people in America don't know that Muhammad cut people's heads off with his own hand. That's what this is about. Most people don't know that he authorized the assassination of people who satirized him. So that's the basis of Sharia law. Are you guys Muslims? You know that he killed people, right? Oh, well, Muslim, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a Muslim rally here. I know. Well, they canceled it. They did cancel. Tell me who you are. Who, who I'm are Randall you? Terry. Oh, you're Randall Terry. Yeah. And what, what are you famous for? I'm the founder of Operation Rescue. I'm the host of the daily television show, Randall Terry, the voice of resistance on me in three, two. I'm with Pastor Cherry. <laughs> Cherry. Terry Jones, I apologize. <clears throat> in three, two. I am right in front of the White House with Pastor Terry Jones, who last September caused quite an international uproar when he and members of his congregation decided that they were going to burn the Quran. As it turns out, uh, at the request of various government, government officials, they chose to not do that. But they're going to now put the Quran on trial. Tell us what that's all about. Yeah, on March the 20th, we have declared March the 20th International Judge the Quran Day. Uh, of course, uh, last September, with International Burn the Quran Day, many people felt that was very unfair. Uh, the Quran will be put on trial if found guilty. The Quran will be punished. Uh, the Quran will either be drowned, uh, the Quran will be burned, uh, the Quran will be shredded, or the Quran will face a firing squad. So with this, we are challenging the Muslims that if the Quran is really a book of peace, then come on March the 20th and prove to us that it's a book of peace. If not, then it is the violent, uh, destructive book that we claim it is. Well, it's supposed to be a, uh, a, a, a protest here uh, for uh, Sharia law, but we've showed up to protest right to the opposite of it. And this is uh, Dave Kisper and uh, Gary hey, Dahl. How are you? Welcome to Washington. Where are you guys from? We're from uh, North Carolina, but we were aware of what was going to take place here in the campaign for Sharia in America. So we just came up basically to monitor this as well as to show our support for the U.S. Constitution. What happened to Chandra? Did he chicken out? <laughs> uh, there's been some confusion about his status. Uh, I gather that he's not allowed into our country. Which yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. That's right! Uh, but he may have chickened out uh, on top of it. But, uh, <laughs> he certainly is a self-promoter of yeah, the yeah. First Order. But to be honest with you, I don't mind him promoting publicly what a great many people are doing behind the scenes. Because at least once you see Anjum Chowdhury and people like him saying explicitly what they all have in mind. It actually helps do what we know needs to be done, which is to awaken the American people and get them engaged in this fight. That's right. Bravo. So you're going to do it? If that's what the people uh, vote for. We will definitely do it, yes. Don't blink. Well, they want creeping Sharia right here. What is creeping Sharia? Uh, it's an ideology, a political, um, pretty much theocracy that's involved with um, the Islamic way of doing things. But if, if you're going to do it, do it. Just do it and don't blink and leave the results in the hands of God. So that's you think he should have gone through with Absolutely, grenade. he should have. You said you're going to do it, do it. And then let, let the world see what Islam really is. We, we know this is a religion born of the sword, catechizes by the sword, keeps its people in the religion by the sword, deals with reprobates and apostates by the sword. It's, it's a religion of the sword. Uh, well, what does it mean to you to be an American? Freedom to, uh, to worship God in any way that I want to worship him, as long as it's not stepping on somebody else. Uh, Islam is to the part they you have to say uh, Allah al Akbar and where they cut your head off. USA! 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 That's right! We rock! That's right! Hey, USA! 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 So who controls the United States now? The deceiver, the destroyer in the White House. I think he's a deceiver and a destroyer of everything that's good about this country. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Yeah. 
What is it that offends you? This man praying or the threat of Sharia that. law you upon your that. country? Do you forget what he's here? Do you, do you forget what he's here for? Do you forget what he's here for? No, he's here to support Sharia law. He's here to support Sharia law. Did you ask that man if he's That's what he's here for. I don't hear him yelling USA. Is he yelling him? USA? Did you ask him if he supports Sharia Is he law? yelling USA? Who are you with? I'm with you. USA! 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 That's right. I love this country, man. We need Jesus to send revival to America. That's why we're here, brother. We need Jesus to send revival to America. And it's not changing. And we're not going to let him come in and ruin it with their stupid laws. Take it back to your own but country. Most people still think that tragically because of what President Bush said, that it's a religion of peace or whatever. And most people do not know that Mohammed and his followers <laughs> killed people with his, I like you. With his own hand. <laughs> but what if they kill Americans because of burning the Quran? That's why you backed off, right? You didn't want anyone killed. Uh, the reason that we backed off was uh, actually because of uh, what Wayne mentioned. Uh, we were asked by, I think I might have told you this, but we were asked by... Um, of course, several people in the government to reconsider. Uh, even the president himself, uh, Mr. Gates, called us. And of course, when those people in the government ask you to do something, uh, they know more than we do. We got freedom here. Let freedom ring in the United States. Give me liberty or give me death. I got a gift for you. I got a Somebody present. It's a cross. It. See the cross that Jesus died for you. He died. The Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Jesus died for you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. That's right, bro. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep on going. Now, what does it mean but to I, you to have freedom of religion or freedom from religion? What's well, not freedom from well, freedom from religion is a big difference. Well, like, freedom guess, from religion means that you don't have the opportunity to express your religious beliefs out in the public. Freedom of religion means that you do have the freedom to express your religious beliefs out in public. <laughs> As we know, Islam operates uh, with fear and intimidation. And once you stand up with that, uh, stand up to that, and I believe that happened, I believe that uh, uh, radical Islam, or Islam, the religion of fear and intimidation, uh, ran into the, Americans, the American spirit of determination. No. He's a Agbar. He's a Agbar. USA! 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 God! Wake this man up! Wake him up, Lord! Wake him up! He's a Agbar. He's asleep! Wake him up, Lord! He's a Agbar. Uh, really, this is the best of what America is. 
what uh, I'm looking at today is uh, people who love this country. We have a gentleman standing over here to my right that uh, has a t-shirt, says everything I ever needed to know about Islam I learned on 9-11. Yes, I, uh, step I up here if you would, please. I, I, my friend, I, step I, on I up. I invite him over here. I, uh, <laughs> I, I like that uh, t-shirt. Uh, did you make that yourself? Uh, yes, we designed it, and here's the front. Okay, the 10th anniversary, never forget police. Are you from New York? I see you I was a... there on 9-11. What would you say? I was there on 9-11. You were there? You were at the ground zero on 9-11? Affirmative. Were you a part of the uh, first responders, or what, what yes. were you doing there? Uh, I was one of the first responders. Bless your heart. Uh, what were some of the thoughts that went through your mind on that day? I can't put it into words. Kill the so infidel what? if he does not convert to Islam, sir. Okay. That is their crime. How many Americans have been killed for not converting to Islam? Tell me how many. Three thousand of them, sir. Those people were not killed for not converting to Islam. It was the World okay, Trade Center. Don't be ignorant. All right? Don't it's ignorant. capitalism. You're being ignorant, no, no, I'm not. You're being ignorant be because ignorant. you don't know your facts. Everything so why don't you go to know read about the Quran Islam I learned on and understand how they, they, they preach? Yeah, I got an iPhone. We can, we can, uh, we can just check out and see. Learn. That's right. So he, they, they just answered everything. Oh, no way, man. No way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And give us this day. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive going on here right now, where no one is no one's stomping on his stuff, no one's burning his stuff, no one's shouting we're going to kill him, or this or string up, or this, that, and the other thing. No, you had a group of people who, yes, have a different religion come here and pray over the man. Peacefully. How old are you? 29. I've spent the past four years in the no Middle East with my Well, my son served four deployments in the 82nd Airborne, and, and he's told me these people want to cut your head off. Of course, you when you're in the military that? shooting at them, they do want to cut your head off. Not the rest of us. Praise <laughs> God. Allah teaches, Allah teaches, if you do not submit to Islam, that we are to be killed. We're infidels, we're pigs, we're nothing. You throw it in the ground so the people, they step on it. Or well, Jesus you shed his blood, you know, people you, walk you on Jesus You don't show respect for your own sign. So how come the people That's gonna show the That respect? is not God. So you're gonna be happy if I make Go like right this. ahead, brother, no, because, I wouldn't make because it. Jesus loves you. Because this is a free country. I respect you. You have to show a respect for my own religion. Thank you. I'm just telling you, you, Jesus loves you. Please take your peace. sign from the ground. Do you accept your real law? Why did you pick right here? Do you accept your real law? Do you want your real law here? I will give you just one difference I will give you. Okay. Is that while you guys stood here and harassed him, that man was in Arabic praying a blessing upon all of your families. <laughs> Church of God.